So I, uh, I have chosen three cards. Uh, the first card that I chose is either for your past or for your mind. So you can choose if you're doing the three parts of the ethereal self. It's going to be mind, heart, soul. And if you are choosing uh, past, present, or future. Um, so the first card uh, set that I chose is the Dorian Virtue uh, deck for the angel cards. And I chose the card Cut Your Cord. So for all those visual lovers out there, I hope you can see it. It's like Michael. Yeah, Archangel Michael. <laughs> it is the Archangel Michael. Ask the Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments and fear that stems from your old relationships or destructive patterns. The negativities that are connected to your past relationships are interfering with your current situations or the, in, the situation you are inquiring about. It is time for you to remove that toxic energy and ask the Archangel Michael to help you release this from your fear. So this is a really important card, whether it's in the mind or in the past, because this allows us to really give ourselves permission to let go of the old stereotypes and the old hang-ups and the old ways of thinking that we have been working on that programming, if you will. It's time to release that, let it go. This card is wonderful and right in time with Sawin and the release of our karmic pain and loss for the last year. Um, so this is a really beautiful card. If you chose this section for your mind, this is really an opportunity for you to get in there and think about that programming and what you need to change for yourself and which way you're going. Put yourself in the right frame of mind and cut your cord. So if you are going into the, the present with me um, or you are going into your heart space or your heart chakra, uh, for this section, this station, I chose the Kuan Yin Oracle to read from. Uh, this is a beautiful oracle and one of my favorites. And the card that I chose for tonight is the Blessings of the Moon Maiden. And the Blessings of the Moon Maiden is that she is here with you and auspicious tidings of prosperity and abundance are here for you now. The universe seeks to replenish and restore the creations through you. You are allowing yourself to receive beyond what you thought was possible. You are able to open your heart chakra and give yourself gratitude now. Allow the blessings of the future and good fortune to come with you. The Maiden of the Moon, Kuan Yin, tells you to allow your life to go forth and flow now. This is a beautiful card for your heart chakra. It really is a wonderful message of the abundance of the heart and the abundance of love in our lives and how important it is to embrace that love in our life. And from all of the solar reports and the moon reports and the astrological reports that we've heard tonight, it is so important to really embrace that abundance of love in your heart chakra because that love light is what is going to help fuel you through the transitions of the next few days and the next week. So as we move forward now into this new moon solar eclipse, and as we move out of Mercury in retrograde and into Samhain, it's going to be very important to keep that love light alive in our hearts. So that is, is also a beautiful representation for what's happening right now in the present. <laughs> mm. So the last card that I chose is for either the future or your spirit. And I chose from the Druid Animal Oracle. And the card I chose was the hawk. And the hawk represents the ability to see your life in a new perspective. Now that you have released yourself of all unnecessary baggage, you are connecting to your true ancestral roots. It is time that you allow yourself to calmly see the events that are going to happen next. You are part of the missing piece. You are going to bring the jigsaw puzzle together. You are sensing your roots, and you are feeling pride in the growing sense of nobility and stature in your life. 
Be prepared to fill yourself with inspiration as the new day will dawn. You will be able to make your decisions with confidence. Wow. So this is a beautiful card for the future. Being able to make confident decisions comes from planning, organizing, setting our intention, taking that time to think and rest right now and focus on what we really want. And so as you go forward into the future, keep those things in mind, just like the hawk. The hawk will sit in the tree and watch the entire horizon. And then just as the rabbit or just as the mouse thinks that it's going to go, that's when the hawk launches. Not too soon, not too fast, but with direct and realistic planning. You also, if you chose this as your spirit card, as your soul card, this is an opportunity for you to embody and look for hawk-like signals in your lives. When you see hawks or ospreys flying, this is an opportunity for us to really be focusing on that energy and moving forward with fluid, proud, confidence, but not arrogant. Hawks are never arrogant. They are confident, but they are not arrogant. So take good, good strength from your soul and know that you know who you are. And then go forward with that knowing and make good choices for yourself. And in doing this, you won't have any regrets. Hmm. I love this reading. It made me so happy, especially yeah. since there's been a lot of hawks around lately. And I love that you used all three of your decks to show the viewers the different decks that you have and the different um, sources you can tap into. So that's awesome. Thank for you sure. so much. It yeah. was my honor it was my honor to read for all of you tonight. I'm very grateful.